To elevate, my name is Tara, channeling a weekend reading for the weekend of the 13th of September, 2024. The Goddess Tarot deck was what I'm going to be working with as the main two card energy, and then a quick um, card from the deluxe deck right at the end that has a creature in it. Since it's Friday the 13th, maybe you can tap into that creature energy. I'm, I'm not going to explain about it. You can uh, look it up or whatever at the end. Um, information on the creature that you get if you want. I will also be uh, working here with the 12-sided uh, dice to see what um, zodiac sign might be in this weekend reading with you. So uh, that explains the weekend reading. I will begin with the birthday children. Happy birthday, Virgo. Let's um, start with you. We'll, we will do a split and as we shuffle and see what is the main energy. So shuffle and split. Eight of Wands here showing up as the main energy for this weekend reading. Let's see what is Virgo's energy here. Virgo's energy. The Queen of Cups showing up here in the upright position. The Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups here is, has a bride dress on. And um, so this could be talking about a ceremony in love. This could be, you could be of any age and still be in this position where you are um, this queen, you know, as the queen, she is lived for a while and she's not new to this environment, even though the dress is white, like the pure new bride. And there's something about you reaching a purity um, wherever you are at in a mature state here, right? This is not white so much of innocence, but um, pureness of self, pureness of understanding. And there's some motion that has come with this understanding of self here. This queen does show an emotional um, state as she peers out at the water. We don't know if it's daytime or nighttime where she's at from the way the sky appears here. And so that's kind of your energy coming on, whether you're male or female. This 12 of Wands says that there is a lot of energy here, a lot of, could be communication, it could be travel, but this energy over the weekend is <clears throat> busy, busy, busy in some sort of way. And it could be, you know, little, little shorts of bursts of energy. If it's travel, it might be that there's a lot of stops on the way to get to your destination. If this is communication. This could be communication with uh, lots of other people or with one person trying to get um, things straight over the weekend. And you keep on going back to these communications. Doesn't really say. It shows you here as yourself. Doesn't show who else is in your environment with you. You are sitting alone here at the beach looking out and there's memory or there's a wish fulfillment or there's something about um, getting in touch and tap with self in this communication in this travel <clears throat> it's really um i really don't uh let's see what this uh what the dice want to say here who's in this environment with you figure out where to roll it <laughs> Six here rolling up, and that is Virgo energy. The six is Virgo energy. Like I was saying, I don't know who else is in this environment with you. It seems to be a lot of um, really self-understanding happening, <laughs> something like that. 
Okay, so let's see what is our, um, I don't know if this made any sense to anybody. Your card is the um, Five of Swords, which in here they say it's the angel, the angel. So with your energy here of the Queen of Wands and the angel card, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> These angel wings and her all in white. So something, um, like I say, you're tapping in somehow with a pureness of self and a higher understanding. All right, Virgo, so this is what I have for you for this weekend reading. If this did resonate in some way, it would be great if you uh, left me a comment here or, or um, maybe a, uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Um, otherwise, I'll see you at your weekly reading. Okay, bye for now. You are welcome in for this weekend two card reading from the goddess deck and then one at the very end just to see what uh, beast or creature you might need to um, deal with. Oh yeah, I already did the, the I do that at the very beginning. Everybody else just, sorry, talking about my cards. Let's uh, see here. Let's get to what's the main thing that wants to be talked about for our Libras. Nine of Cups coming here and kind of being a little stubborn, knocking everything out. Whoa, it's going to be a little bit of a rambunctious celebration or what's going on? Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra's energy here. Ooh, Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups. Okay, so your energy is saying um, you, you're walking away from other people's emotions. You're walking away from situations that have been, oh man, they've been, they've drug you down. They've knocked you back or something like this. And you have um, picked up your purse and you're walking out of here. <laughs> Your purse. Oh no, but the Nine of Cups says uh, the solo journey as well. This is when you are happy in your situation. This is where there's eight cups back here and you are toasting to yourself, toasting to your own success, toasting to um, where you have moved to. And so here we have nighttime energy. Here we have the rainbow that shows up after the storm. So you're withering the long night of the storm, a storm here that has brewed, that has it's kept you and held you back in some way. This is hard for you. you. You feel like you're turning your back on people, on individuals. And this for a weekend read is heavy, but um, it's saying it's because you realize um, that there is something to celebrate in the self. You you do want to hold, figure out hold, how to hold these people still in high regard, but it's now finding out how to make this journey be your journey. This is the same gal in here with the blonde hair and the nine of cups and the eight of cups traveling on this journey. Once you've figured out um, how to not let other people's emotions, their emotional state, bother your emotional state. There's something about this where you can hold other people highly too while you still celebrate within yourself. You have to go out somehow on your own to do some celebration of self. Let's see uh, what we have here. Who else could be uh, in this environment with you over the weekend? I say could be. Oh, we're all 11. It is an 11. 11 is our Aquarius. It rolled all the way onto the floor for that information. Wanted to roll out the door. So, you know, take that information as you would like. And let's see here what uh, creature shows up for you, the unicorn. The unicorn. And so this is you, you know, discovering your beauty. You know, or what, think about the unicorn. Isn't that the unicorn and the rainbow? <laughs> I 
after the long night of the storm. Man, that's a really kind of incredible reading right there once we put all three cards together. Okay, Libra, if you enjoyed this at all, uh, give me a thumbs up there or join my channel. Leave a message. Okay, I'll see you for your weekly read. Bye for now. Scorpio, welcome in to Elevate. My name is Tara. It's a three card reading this time. Two cards from the Goddess Tarot deck as the main part of the read. And then we will just uh, grab the one card for you to name a creature here um, to see because it is Friday the 13th. So how it associates in your world some way. And then also a roll of our dice here to see who's in this environment. Okay, uh, what are the two cards here? What's the main theme for Scorpio? The main theme. Temptation card 15 showing up as the main idea for the weekend. Temptation. This is can be like a little devilish energy going on here. Uh, Scorpio, what's your energy in this environment? The Queen of Cups rolling up here as Scorpio's energy. Queen of Cups. So <laughs> the devil energy is saying, hey, well, we want to control something. We want to, uh, well, we want to control a situation maybe. It's emotional. You're emotional. You're um, rather male or female. This situation here has um, somehow struck you in a very, like, one of your most powerful emotions here. And you are whew, trying to, the thing here to, with the temptation card here and this being a cup card, if we are already emotional about a situation, the thing is, is not to, um, you know, not to try and drown our sorrows in some way, not to overindulge in anything that would be <clears throat> alcoholic, drugs, gambling, anything like that um, is going to lead somehow to a, to you, being em emotional this weekend and maybe there's something about that you feel restricted <clears throat> there's things that you want there's things you desire there's things that you like you really man have a heart's desire here and there's thought in this and there's even mm, the crown chakra lighting up and you feel somewhat glorious but it's scary and it's and it's controlling and it's like learning. This is you. You've turned your back on the temptations here. That's what it is. But your back is turned towards it. And even though there's a force, maybe you can feel it. At, at, you know, when you're that you have turned your back, you may even feel it like wanting to tap at you, like knock, knock, I'm here, just turn around and you can see me. And this is you just like going, no, I'm, I'm not going to be tempted by that because I, I truly know what my heart desire is. And this is you trying to stay in your best state of mind, other <laughs> to try and keep this temptation out this weekend. So seven rolls up for you. A seven would be a Libra. So you could be in here with a Libra. Let's see if uh, monsters, what do they say here? Death card showing up for you. Death is talks about transformation. This is considered a lot of times the Scorpio card. And it says 440. Oh, that could be important to you. Um, they also have Scorpio and, of course, card 13 of the Higher Arcana death card. So you might uh, look into, like, what is the Grim Reaper mean to you? What is it that has to be changed so much in your life? This 
keeping the temptation knocked back or something. Okay, Scorpio, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you for your uh, weekly reading. Bye for now. Sagittarius, welcome in to Elevate. Let's go ahead and get this weekend reading uh, on the way for you. Two cards from the Goddess and then one from the Deluxe. Main thing that wants to be discussed is some celebration going on here with the Three of Cups. With the Three of Cups. And uh, what about, I'm trying to figure out where to put that. <laughs> what about Sag? Sag? Might be a little bit of trying to get some arrangement going on with this uh, group of individuals you're celebrating with. Sag is... is um, card three here and uh, well it says fertility but uh, this is a um, well this is you being large and in charge and that's what I was saying Sag maybe it's going to be hard to get this group of people together here it's three women that are hanging out and here you are <laughs> your environment well it looks a little bit more deserty and hot where like this environment might be somewhere in the mountains or something or on the coast. There's definitely water in here. So um, are you trying to, um, it's like a planning thing because of you. You're, if you're the empress, maybe maybe this is like you're planning the, a wedding, let's say, or, or maybe you're the bride. You can be however you're, however it is that you are the queen of the show, right? But uh, it's like the people that you want as your main, um, if you are the bride and you've got to have your maid of honor and, and the other ladies, this is who, who are going to be in this environment with you and how are they going to celebrate in this and this is you like organizing this part of it maybe getting this small group of people together <clears throat> outside of the larger group right so like anytime you have any type of show you got to get all the characters together first before the show goes to air right before you put on the play what however you want to do talk about it's a production here you're the producer you're the one large and in charge and you're the one who's getting the bare bones of the situation somehow together getting these people on board getting them all in the same idea so that you can get this wedding on the go get the show on the road however you want to uh, make this event happen something like that but uh, this is the basic people that are coming to it sorry for kicking the camera the basic people coming to it to make this happen all right so oh seven is rolling up for you seven is our libra so you in here with a libra individual Okay, so that's what I have for the people. And the main thing, let's see if the, what the um, energy is here as we split the deck. For you is the Golem. Six of Wands. The Golem. <laughs> the Empress and the Golem. <laughs> the Empress and the Golem. So think about that, right? Don't. Maybe you don't want to turn in to the golem. <laughs> you want to stay the empress, right? You don't want people to think that you're the ugly golem. You want to be large and in charge, not overbearing and controlling. Okay, something like that. You want to just, you know, get these people on board happily. Three is rolling up for you. A three would be our... Um, Gemini's, right? Yes, a Gemini individual could be in this environment with you. Okay. Oh, well, I might have already rolled it and said, what? A Libra, right? So now I've done two people for you. Wow. So you got a little extra. Maybe both those people are in this environment with you. Definitely something to do with air signs. Okay. Well, thanks uh, for your energy. <laughs> I'll talk to you for your weekly read, Saj. Bye for now. Hey Capricorn, welcome in here to Elevate. I'm Tara. 
have a little bit longer read this weekend, as I will be also since it's Friday the 13th, pulling an extra card. But let's see uh, what we do get here for you. What's the main theme for the Capricorn reading? Ooh, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups showing up for Capricorn. And um, let's see, what about, I mean, that's the main idea here. And what about, what is Capricorn? What's Capricorn's energy for this weekend reading? Queen of Pentacles showing up. Queen of Pentacles as Capricorn's energy here. Okay, so wow. So what we have going on here is the main thing is there's some well you're there's some let's say that um so you're the queen of pentacles here. So I want to say that you're an investor, okay? You have maybe a grant that you do for school or you um, have some sort of a grant that you put out for an art community or a you know, an athletic thing. Whatever it is, this money of yours that you have that you give to, let's say it's an individual. And so what we have here are these people here that have um, what they want in life. There's something that they are going after. And this could be, let's say it's that um, they, they want to get on as a, um, in a college for a sports team. Okay, so they've been working hard. You have somebody here who's a gymnast. You have somebody here who's a runner. You have a swimmer. You have a football player. You have a um, hockey player. You've got a baseball player. And you have a underwater basket weaver. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so you have all these people and they're all doing these things. And you're like, well, which one would be the one to choose? I had, I have this that I put out money for. And so this weekend, you're listening to these people. You're reading their essay. Um, you're watching their sport. Whatever it is, this is what's going on. You're the giver, and you're going to give to somebody who has a dream of some sort. And you're involved in um, choosing um, the person. And 12 rolls up for you, a 12. A 12 is our Pisces individuals, yeah. So you can be in this situation here with a Pisces. Let's just split the deck and see what little entity shows up for you. Is the elf a little entity, I say. Elf shows up for you. And what a positive entity. This is somebody who, um, you know, the elf has the bow that never runs out. The elf is a little bit magical in their realm. And this is what I believe you are creating some a sort of great magical. Somebody whose aim is true is um, who you're going to invest in. Okay, so it looks like a great little weekend read. So um, if it, this did resonate, you know, give me a thumbs up there. Comment, join my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you for your weekly. Bye. <laughs> Hey Capricorn, oh, I just did Capricorn. Hey Capricorn almost had two readings there. Uh, okay, Aquarius, welcome in to Elevate. And uh, let's see what we get here from the goddess. What's two cards? What's the main theme? You know, it's Friday the 13th, uh, so I will have a extra read card as well here. From the deluxe deck, <clears throat> spirit deck, Ace of Wands showing up as main idea for this weekend read. What about Aquarius's energy? It's Aquarius's energy here. Aquarius.
Queen of Cups. She's showing up like three times now. You can be dealing with other people who have also had her. And each time I've gotten a different feeling for this queen. Um, <laughs> well, uh, you're trying not to be, a, you know, you're very emotional. And uh, because of, a, well, it could be a, I'm getting it's some kind of action that happened. Action, Jackson. And uh, <clears throat> wow, it was exciting. It was wild. It was a good old time. Whatever that action that was taken and <laughs> woo, Aquarius, you're just that action made you feel like passion. And it's what's talked about here for the weekend is um, you you really want to ignore it you really would like it to go away you really don't want to believe that there's so much passion between you and another individual you want to um <laughs> hide away from it but i think it might catch up to you this passion you might run but you're going to be feeling it at the back until it gets to you there's no running away from this passion that's coming forward <laughs> in action passion in action six rolling up for you aquarius six and that would be our um who was that that's virgo individuals that our birthday children virgo individuals could be in this environment with you let's just split the deck here and see what the deck wants to add as a creature and it's oh genie green teeth Six of Cups, green, genie, green tea. And so this is where uh, there's, there's a little bit of a warning here. There's a little bit of warning about the children. <laughs> I don't know. You, uh, I don't really know much about Jenny Green Teeth, but there is something here, and it's um, maybe it's things that you remember as a child or... This is things that you were scared of in a, as a child, um, actions that were taken against you or something like this, or that you're worried about your own children. Maybe you need to protect them. There's something. But look up Jenny Green Teeth. I don't know all that much about her. So um, that's one entity. Maybe you, if you know more, maybe write me a little comment in there. It'd be great. Okay, let's uh, so we, we know who's in your environment and uh, see how this works for you. Like I said, it's something that you want to run away from. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, thanks for joining me. Um, I'll see you for your weekly read. <laughs> Bye for now. Oh, Pisces, welcome in to Elevate. Here to do this weekend channeling. Two cards from the goddess, and then we'll do a little, uh, see what kind of a little spirit creature decides to come out for you to go along with the reading. Yeah. Woo! Six of higher arcana showing up for Pisces, and that's love. It's love card. And uh, what's Pisces energy in this environment? Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords could be getting a, a new, um, there's definitely choices can be talked about here. There's also be choices and uh, you making the choice, you making the decision and saying this is what I want out of life, something like that. But it's two-sided swords, so maybe it's you want two things even though it's one or it's um you see both sides of a situation now finally something like that the love card showing up this is what we are passionate about in life this is what drives us to get up every morning and get out of bed and go get coffee and get on with our day is those things that we dream about those things that we want those things that we take time out for that we love to do those people that we want to hang out with these are the choices that we make these passions that things that we do so that we can have these passions and you over the weekend you're not holding back 
you're um, setting forth truth, if you're not um, actually putting action into this passion, into this um, thing that you want to happen, if you're not doing it, somebody else is. It's going to be even written in stone or has to get pulled out of that stone. <laughs> it's a little bit hard uh, with both this stone action here that this sword is on or is that uh, just hard dirt something going on it's groundbreaking it's new it's forward it's the way things are going now find full force a new understanding in something about choices about passion about love and uh, more 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 and uh, full speed ahead with new intelligence in something Three rolls up for you. A three is our um, Gemini. So you can be in this situation with a Gemini. Let's uh, see before we move that over. Let's see what the deluxe. I usually have them sitting right there. Okay, let's see. Let's split it up and see what we get here. Is Frankenstein. Frankenstein showing up as a... Um, <laughs> monster as a spirit so what does Frankenstein have to do with this passion that you have with this love with this new understanding remember Frankenstein was created from many parts right and also with electricity that had to happen that came down from the sky and hit him and brought him to life and this new under this new creature is created and there is definitely a newness you know bringing all of these parts together and and maybe this Frankenstein can be electrified. This passion can be ignited. Something like that. Make this happen. Get it up and moving. Something about that. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. Thanks for joining me. This resonated. You know, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Okay, uh, otherwise I'll see you for the weekly. Bye. Aries, welcome in for this weekend reading. Let's go ahead and uh, see what the goddess wants to talk about as our main idea on this channel. Three of Pentacles here showing up as the main theme, the main theme. Four of Wands showing up here. Four of Wands as Aries energy in this situation. So this is um, this is all about cooperation, cooperation, cooperation. This is about you wanting to um, with other people, other people wanting to be with you to create something, to make something better. Taj Mahal was built for the love of someone's life, right? And it took time, it took money, it took lots of uh, other people coming together to build that, to make that happen. You said you you say you're ready to for that. The Four of Wands talks about this as well. Let's um see eye to eye. Let's talk about our future together. Where do we go from here? What do we want to make happen? The Four of Wands, how do we make this household better? How do we improve what, what we have here? There's things like this, both these cards talking about over the weekend. This could be just a big weekend of home improvement. This could be that you are moving into a new house, a new apartment. This could also be that other people have decided to invest in you. And things like this that are being talked about. Aries, let's... Uh, See who's in this environment of home improvement. Eleven rolls up for you, and eleven is our um, Aquarius individuals. Let's just split the deck and see what creature for the Friday the 13th that goes along with this reading for you. What shows up for you is the Queen of Swords, and they say here the Amazon female. Amazon. Queen. 
And so this is you in a warrior state with you as a warrior who is both into understanding, trying to communicate with this sword of truth, with the sword of justice. This means that as you move in to a situation, you could be, um, you might, could, your word is something that other people are going to look forward to. They, they believe in what you want to say. So what you need to say though, Try not with being the Amazon queen. Try not to be too harsh or too forceful because this is a very beautiful, uh, loving environment that wants to come together and make things happen. And so what, with your energy here, you need to um, definitely say what needs to be said. Use your energy to help in any way to make this a more positive situation. But watch out for something about being too pushy or too forceful or too honoring, something like that. Okay, Aries, this is what I have for this weekend read. If this resonated, um, you know, like, subscribe, share. Otherwise, I'll see you for your weekly reading. Bye. Taurus, welcome in for this weekend all signs reading. Um, let's go ahead and see what card wants to show up as the main idea for you for this weekend. Two of Cups showing up for you. Two of Cups. And uh, what about uh, Taurus's energy in this situation here? Seven of Cups showing up. Seven of Cups as Sages. sages. Sorry about that. I was, uh, something came on the phone and I started saying, the person who had leaving a message. Sorry about that. But to, so seven is for Taurus's energy here and the Two of Cups here is the energy for our, um, main thing that wants to be talked about so there is celebration with you and another individual and this can be a very beautiful thing as we feel like we found somebody that understands us that um that we understand that we could hang out and talk to all night long something like that there is here though a thing about being a little bit, you know, the, you have seven ideas here. You have seven fantasies. There's seven wishes going on. And the thing about the weekend is there's two, two cups here. There's only two cups that can be filled and two people that actually understand. So watch out here for um, when you're with this individual that you don't um, like over fantasize and make the situation out to be things that it's not you know don't input things in, into what's going to happen or what you would like like there's just it's like there's because you feel so happy like don't over like I don't want you to over it's not just overindulge, it's like over talk, over tell, over, you know, because you like somebody doesn't mean you have to tell them every single thing about, about you, you know. You can leave a little bit of something to yourself to talk about at another day, okay. It's something like that. Let's uh, see who's in this uh, environment with you. Twelve's rolling up for Taurus. So Twelve is Pisces individual. Let's uh, see here what we get on the split as a um, creature that wants to be talked about. Barbarian coming on here. The Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. And so the spirit creature that wants to be talked about is um, 
with the barbarian this is the night here that is coming through like this was my warning my warning about before i even saw that this was a sword energy sword energy is about communication the night energy comes through wanting and talking maybe really quickly about something and then you respond back in a way and then there's can be more information spilled than normal and that's what i'm worried about letting out um, too much of you know stuff about the self to somebody um but that person um just because they're coming forth and talking and they're doing it maybe in a smoother way and making you all happy there's still this person who's um they're going to take your knowledge and know at some time something to do with it okay there's something about this that's the warning okay taurus that's enough so uh, if this resonated um let me know like subscribe share or um, otherwise i'll see you for your weekly bye for now tim and i welcome in to elevate my name is tara let's uh see what we do get here for your two main cards of the reading Gemini's uh, main theme for the weekend is movement here. Card seven, movement. And uh, what do we have for this Gemini's energy? Gemini's energy here. It's the Ace of Wands showing up. Ace of Wands. It's weird. When I got movement, a lot of times that's considered the Chariot card. But what I was thinking about was like it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new way of doing things. Um, this movement is a change of pace. It's a shakeup. And uh, you, you're saying I have some really great energy right now. I have great plans I have ideas <clears throat> like I really feel like I have the backing of the universe I feel like that I would be the best person for whatever it is like I'm ready I, I'm ready to rock and roll I'm ready to get the job done and this is like my, I mean my energy is just like all of a sudden exploding as I feel this like it is definitely moving you or it's like a new campaign or something i want to say it's a it's a new business venture it's like but it's like you're you've got the backing you are the backing you are the one creating this new movement or something this is what's being talked about for the weekend let's see uh, who's in here with you so four rolls up and the four is sorry cancer individual so to be in here with a cancer let's see what uh, creature wants to be discussed here for the 13th that uh, you might <laughs> come in handy um, the queen of pentacles the dryad the dryad and so this is the uh, this is kind of like a fairy type creature right and the dryad and so with like lives in the tree and and uh, this is growth this is interesting with the rod here and um this new beginning this new like energy this new push that you want to do it's like um you, there's backing here of somebody who's got some clout there's something about this this is something to do with with feminine energy here that is changing up the environment making the situation different whether you're male or female there's something about feminine energy that is um helping to change the movement that you are like also like you're the one who's like bringing it in as well <laughs> something like that okay gemini that's what i get for you um if, it, if this resonated you know like subscribe share otherwise i'll see you for the week and weekly one right yeah bye hey cancer welcome in here to elevate my name's tara 
let's uh, get this two card reading actually it's a three card today but two cards here from the goddess on the way four of pentacles as the main idea here four of pentacles what about cancer's energy cancer's energy strength card higher kind of card showing up as your energy okay okay just hold back this is what your strength is uh saying Woo. wait a minute um <laughs> let's hold up i want to see where we're at financially i want to go back and collect or look at the coins <laughs> i want to make sure before we do anything else we stop and we analyze where we're at. Mm -hmm, that's right. For you, it is like telling people, hold up. No. Nope. No. Nope. I'm not spending anything until I go over these papers. <clears throat> not to tile there for the countertop. It isn't going to work. I didn't want tile. I wanted something else. So, uh, like, the strength is to get the proper thing that I wanted um, in my uh, little business office over here and that's not it or whatever the office is or whatever it is that you are uh, you're arguing or you're holding back because it's not the product that you want for the thing that you want to do or it's too high of a price something like this being talked about and it's like you having the strength to hold back you having the strength to hold others back <laughs> in some monetary manner <laughs> okay 11 is rolling up for our cancers 11 is um aquarius let's split the deck and see what we add to it here the hanged man the hanged man as an imp as the imp so um <laughs> with the strength card and then the hanged man coming out you are really like i said you're pushing trying to hold people back from because you don't want to be in hot water <laughs> okay cancer thanks for joining me um, just hold, keep holding everyone back keep keep strong there buddy bye all right leo welcome in let's uh get this two card goddess reading on the way and then one card from the spirit deck as a spirit because it's friday the 13th energy picking up on the world card here the world card has the main theme for our leos Two of Pentacles now here showing up as Leo's actual energy. Leo's energy. Well, <laughs> Leo. Um, balancing some energy here. Are we seeing things out over the airway? Traveling in an airplane? Going by boat? However it is. No matter which way you go, it's jet lag. And jet lag makes you tired, but you have to get up and you have to do what you need to do to make that paycheck. That's right. <laughs> he just wanted things to slow down, but not this weekend. This weekend it's on the go and it's moving, moving across the globe for you. The world is spinning and you're large, yeah, but you may not be in charge. You're large and you're loud and somebody's hearing you and somebody's seeing you. Maybe it's lots of people. Things like this going on, Leo, but um, got to balance it. Got to balance it. It's hard because you're tired, you're tired, you're tired, but, oh, you're going to push through. You're going to get up and you're going to push through. And then uh, you're going to let somebody else take the wheel of the car and you're going to jump in the back seat and take the little nap. And then you're going to stop and you're going to eat. And then you're going to get up and you're going to perform or something like this. It's so crazy this weekend. Let's see who's in this environment with you, Leo. Pisces rolling up a 12. Pisces individual. Let's uh, see what we get here as we split the deck. What entity wants to come through is um, the Ace of Pentacles. 
Um, Man Drag Gara. M A N G R A G O R A. Man Dragara. So this is like the plant creature, right? So, wow. So this is, oh, maybe you need to be careful of what you eat. Uh, make sure when you're walking around that you don't scrape your feet. You're not up next to that needle plant or the poison ivy or something like this uh, as your energy. Like I said, maybe it is something that you eat. Maybe it can help your energy that's depleted. I don't know. Maybe you need something exotic from around the world to help you out. Making Maybe this plant can be a helper instead of a hinderer, right? Don't smoke too much weed. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we already saw who was in this environment. All right, you're the last one, and this is making me crazy. Thanks for joining me for this uh, All Signs Weekend reading. If this resonated, like, subscribe, share. Otherwise, I'll see you for the weekly individual reads. Bye for now.